ladies and gents, welcome to TFI. So they say that replacing your old mechanical hard disk with a solid state drive is one of the best things you can do pound for pound for getting them performance gains. But what does that actually mean? What does that really mean for your application? So what I'm going to do is put it to the test. I'm going to run my TFI 23 point stress test on one workstation twice over, once with the mechanical hard disk in and then once with a solid state drive in to see what difference it actually makes. The workstation in question is an HP Z440, brand new workstation from HP. It's a Xeon E3. 1650 v4 broadwell e-based xeon six cores hyperthreading enabled at four gigahertz it has 32 gig of ddr4 2400 megahertz ecc ram quadro m4000 gpu and then the hard disk for one test it's going to be run with a mechanical western digital blue hard disk that's a terabyte western digital blue mechanical hard disk and then the second test same workstation but we're going to be running the hp z turbo drive which is actually just a samsung sm951 nvme pci express solid state drive the 12 the 512 gig variant basically what hp do is they source in the samsung drive and then they slap it onto their own proprietary pci express board put a heatsink on it and call it an hp z turbo drive and charge you a little bit more for it but as you can see from the speed tests, we are running at NVMe speeds through the SM951, so that's sweet as Tropicana. The tests are both going to be running on Windows 7, fully up to date through Windows Update. The only software that's ever been installed is Autodesk Inventor 2018. Both operating systems are completely fresh, no antivirus, no nothing else. The PCs have never been on a domain. It is a complete fresh Windows build, Inventor installed, and then the test benchmarks done. So we're as fresh as we can get. Reet, there's going to be quite a lot to talk about, but I'll do that after I've shown you the results. So here they are, and I'll see you on the other side. Let's talk about the results and I was quite surprised actually, <laughs> really surprised when I was seeing the results coming in. Was not expecting to see such little difference between the two systems. But we'll have a talk about that in just a short second. If you're interested in seeing more tests like this though, stay tuned and get subscribed if you're not already, cause I'm gonna be taking the same HP Z440 that I've used in this test, wiping it 
on the Z Turbo Drive and then putting on Windows 10 and seeing what the difference between Windows 7 and Windows 10 is on the exact same hardware. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing that kind of thing. Reads. A good place to start is to go over to the Crystal Dismark benchmarks again, just so we can put the results into some kind of context. Crystal Dismark is by no means an indication of real-world performance, but it's a good metric to compare one drive against another for context. So, looking at the scores, the top row is the one that the manufacturers use to advertise the speed of the drives. It's taking a massive single file and then reading and writing to it, and that's what the speeds are coming in at. So, for example, on the NVMe drive, 2.1 gigabytes per second reading a large file and it can write at 1.5 gigabytes per second so for example if you were to take a massive movie file five gigabyte movie file and copy it from your desktop to your i don't know videos folder it'll copy at roughly 1.5 gigabytes per second roughly uh, for the mechanical drive, we're looking at a massive difference. It's not even on the same playground. 171 megabytes per second reading and 175 megabytes per second writing is dramatically different. So that's a single large file. And the other tests are single threaded, single queues, multi threaded, multi queues, reading and writing of very small files. And that's more indicative of real world performance. And for example, 4K, which is, I'm not going to get into the units of Crystal Dismark. It's not quite four kilobytes, but it's roughly in that ballpark. 2.2 megabytes per second reading and writing small files on the mechanical drive a gigabyte per second it's a 490 percent difference on the nvme drive it's ridiculous man it's absolutely ridiculous so the mechanical drive is just dwarfed in comparison for performance to this nvme drive however we did not see that translate across into autodesk inventor so looking at test number one cold opening of the 2332 part assembly this is inventor opening up 2332 parts from disk loading them into session you would think you would th in fact most people would think that using an nvme solid state drive would open 2300 parts far quicker than it would otherwise do with a mechanical drive in the same system but it was on the nose identical not a single second difference between the two systems they open in exactly the same time and then for context i've put in a third system which is my tfi rig that's actually got the samsung sm961 which is the newer revision of the z turbo drive being used in the hp machine here and that opens six seconds slower because it's mostly CPU based when you're opening up assemblies. Inventor has to load the files from disk, that has to happen. But then once it's loaded the files from disk, it's got to then put them together, it's got to check references, it's got to do blah, 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 X, Y, Z. I could only speculate on what it does exactly, but obviously reading from the disk is a very small part and the hard disk is bottlenecked by various other components and various other operations. So that's, uh, that's pretty conclusive in my eyes. The next couple of tests, we've got closing the assembly, we've got opening to express mode and closing from express mode. There was absolutely no difference again on the nose, identical times. The only test where there was actually a massive difference between the two drives, and I'm kind of suspicious of this result actually, is the mass file save migration. So this is taking 965 parts, which are currently at an older Inventor version, and then migrating them up to Inventor 2018. That took 207 seconds on the NVMe drive, 464 seconds on the mechanical hard disk, but on my system, which is actually not that much better than the HP Z440, it finished in half the time, 112 seconds on Windows 10 as opposed to Windows 7. So I'm not entirely sure of these results. I did rerun these tests several times, and this is the quickest of all the results that I got. For example, the mechanical drive, it was 464 seconds was the fastest result that I could get within five or six tests. At one point, it went over 10 minutes, and I had to stop the test, just terminate Inventor and restart it. It's that temperamental. So that, those are the fastest results that I could get. Writing the disk, you could argue maybe that's more CPU intensive than it is actually writing to the disk. I would argue that it is. If you're writing 965 parts, it's definitely not just a case of how fast can a hard disk write to itself. If it was like that, given the NVMe drive can write at 1.5 gigabytes per second, saving 965 parts would be over within a matter of seconds. So it's not a case of that, it's more CPU bound, and I'm still not entirely sure why there's such a disparity between the NVMe drive, the mechanical disk, and then me using Windows 10 with an almost comparable hard disk to the uh, HP Z Turbo Drive. So just for clarity, the HP Z Turbo Drive is the SM951. My rig is the SM961, and it finished in half the time. It's not 
twice as fast. Absolutely not. The SM961 is not twice as fast as the SM951, so that doesn't make any sense to me at all. So I'm going to have to rerun these tests on the HP machine on Windows 10 to see whether this is perhaps an operating system limitation. Who knows at this point? Further from that, uh, test number nine, the FEA meshing, that finished 40 seconds faster on the NVMe drive, which was curious because meshing doesn't really utilize the hard disk at all. So I'm not entirely sure what happened there. That could be an anomaly. It's not within the margins of error. 40 seconds is too much to be within the margin of error. So I don't know what happened on the mechanical hard disk. I don't know whether something else was kind of kicking off in the background. I don't know it was a fresh build of Windows with no other software on there. So I don't know what happened there. But clearly there is a massive difference there between the NVMe drive and the mechanical drive when meshing, which uh, we're going to have to again see what happens when we run with Windows 10 before we make any judgments on that. Test number 10, which was the sol the solving of the FEA, there was again, a five seconds difference between the mechanical disk and the NVMe disk. I think that could be margin of error, who knows? It's not too much of a difference there at all. I'm pretty sure you don't actually write a disk when you're doing solving of FEA analysis, so I, I don't know what happened there. And then the rest of the tests, absolutely no surprise whatsoever. The majority of the remainder of the tests were almost, almost absolutely identical. The frame rates were all pretty much identical within margin of error and then exporting a large assembly to step, which is writing a large step file to the desktop on both disks. It actually finished a second faster on the mechanical disk. Margin of error again, but that just goes to prove that an NVMe drive or a solid state drive, you don't get any many in application performance benefits using the solid state drive over a mechanical disk. And that's pretty much it. So what am I saying? What am I saying? In conclusion, am I saying that because, because my 3D CAD application didn't get that much of a benefit from using a solid state drive? Am I saying that it's a complete waste of time to have a solid state drive? No, absolutely not. It was clearly, clearly different using the operating system on a solid state drive over the mechanical disk. For example, when I was setting the PC up, it took 12 hours to get Windows Update fully up to date on the mechanical disk, not because it took 12 hours, but because it took so long. I had to go out, I had to leave work, I had to carry the PC home, resume it when I got back. It took so long to do that in total, it took 12 hours of my life to get Windows Update completed on the mechanical disk. On the NVMe disk, about 15 minutes, 15 minutes to half an hour-ish to get Windows fully updated on that system. Once Windows was fully updated and in there, getting Inventor installed was absolutely lightning fast on the NVMe drive. It was a snails it went at a snail's pace on the mechanical disk just general navigating the operating system opening inventor it was sluggish or laggy on the mechanical hard disk once you're in your application yes the, the application performs just as fast on either disk but it you, you do lose a lot of time you will lose a lot of productivity using the mechanical disk over the nvme disk just in other tasks so no not saying use a mechanical disk but it's still interesting to see that it doesn't make much difference actually in the application using a solid state drive over a mechanical disk and this is one of the best solid state drives on the market at the moment as well so it's not like we're using a cheap one here no this is one of the best ones on the market right that'll do it for this one guys like i said if you're interested in these tests stay subscribed because i'm going to be doing a windows 7 versus windows 10 comparison in the very near future so stick around for that and i'll see y'all in the next one toodles